I'm going to show you how I cut a pepper. This is a very large one, but you'd use the same technique um, with whatever pepper you have. Um, so the first thing that I do is I cut the top off and I want to cut it so that I go through the um, stem end, but I don't actually want to take the entire stem end with me. Um, and then I want to cut off the bottom end as well. So you're sort of creating like a box here. Um, and I'm just going to set those aside for right now. And then I'm going to set this cut side down and I'm going to cut off the sides and I'm going to treat it as if it's square. It's actually not, but um, I'm going to cut it into slabs this way. And notice as I do that, I'm kind of cutting off the ribs of the pepper as well. Um, there's a little bit of some left here. Um, if you're fussy and you want to remove those, you can but I'm removing all this. This is inedible. Um, and all that you're left here with are four, um, six pieces of pepper and they're all um, completely edible so no extra trimming is required. From here I'm placing it so that the skin side is down and then I am just cutting through it this way. Um, it's easier to cut through the skin if it's um, sort of rough side up. If with the smooth side up, um, the knife has a harder time cutting through it. And I'm just going through and cutting each piece individually. Let's talk about cutting an onion. Um, so the way that I cut an onion is the way that I learned on the very first day of culinary school. Um, and this is the technique that I recommend learning how to do. It takes a little bit of practice um, until it really feels like second nature, um, but it's a really great way of making sure that your pieces are even. Um, so the first thing that you do is you want to remove the stem end or the root end of your onion, um, and you just wanna cut off just the like dirty skin part and any like um, part of the root but you don't actually wanna cut through the core that's under there. So I'm just gonna cut a tiny tip of that off. And as you can see here, there's still some of the core left intact, okay? And then I'm gonna take off my stem end and get rid of these guys. Um, and then I cut it in half. So I'm setting it on the cut end and I'm cutting it in half. So that will reveal my layers of onions. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. And the way that I do that is I just reach in and I grab that outer layer of the onion. And you don't like wanna take off a ton of it, but um, if you leave even like the thinner layers that are on the outside here, they're actually pretty tough and they don't really break down when you cook them. So you do actually wanna remove. What seems to be wasting is actually not wasting. So let's get rid of those. And then I like to also sort of clean up my work area after that step so that I don't have any like dirt or debris that ends up on the cut onion. So leaving the root end intact, I'm gonna work with that facing my, this is my left hand, and I'm gonna hold this down um, against the work surface with my hand flat so that it's not like gonna get cut. And then I'm just gonna take my knife um, this is parallel to the, cook, cook, the cutting surface, and I'm pressing down with a good amount of force here to hold it in place, and then I'm just gonna slide my knife in. I'm not gonna go all the way through the, the root, I'm just gonna go almost to the root end, and then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna do a slightly higher cut as well. Again, not going all the way through. And then I'm gonna turn it towards me and I'm gonna work my knife tip down through the onion and again, leaving that root end intact. So now it's still all held, held together as one. Um, and so this makes it easier when you get to the dicing part. And then I'm gonna go through and dice it like this. When I get to the end here, I'm gonna flip it on its side and then I'm gonna use my knife tip to go in and cut it into square shapes, just avoiding that center root, cutting around it, getting rid of that. And then I just repeat the same exact thing on the other side. And that's it. So you'll notice 
None of the pieces are bigger than the others and um, it's a nice fine dice.